Hi, this week's Parsha is Parsha Shlach. Uh, this, this one involves the spies being sent into Israel and they look it over and all but two give a negative report and then the people about the land and then the people get, uh, you know, the Jewish people uh, feel really upset and they even want to go back to Egypt. Uh, and you know, Hashem gets really disappointed and Moshe goes to bat for the Jewish people in uh, chapter 14, Parak 14. And, um, and then there's uh, verse 17 and 18. Says, Veata Yigdal na koa Adomai Kasher de Barta Lemor. And now I beseech thee, let the strength of the Lord let the last strength of the Lord be great according to as what you've spoken, saying, Hashem Erech Apayim Barab Chesed, Nasayavon Vashpesha Vinake Lo Yinake, Pokeravon Avot Albanim Al Shileshim Ve Al Ribeim. Uh, the eternal is long suffering and of much mercy, forgiving iniquity and transgression, and by no means clearing the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children onto the third and fourth generation. And this is certainly a reference to what you know Hashem speaks these what's come to know in, in the Jewish tradition as the thirteen attributes of mercy. Um, earlier the, uh, the well, some of them one of them is Erechapayim, long suffering. And there's a commentary here. Uh, Rashi, you know, brings down um, a story from the Talmud that uh, Moshe apparently went up uh, when went on Sinai that that he, he asked Hashem about this um, why what was Erech Payim referred to? Do you, are you long suffering with just the wicked or the righteous? And um, you know Hashem indicated I'm also long suffering with the wicked. And that, um, and most of in the story is taken aback by that. Like, how could you be, why would you, why would you put up, basically, I'm, my sense is, I'm saying, like, why would you put up with that? Why would you be patient with the wicked? And um, Moshe, uh, Hashem says, like, one day you're going to need it. But you're going to need it. And that got me thinking about what's the line between the righteous and the wicked? And, you know, certainly... There's some clear examples of someone like really committed to doing evil. That's wicked, um, like consciously, like you know. But that's, the, the, I don't know, I don't know how many people that are like that. There's some people like that, but I don't think many. And um, this need to be erechapayim, to be to be patient, does not mean to excuse. Um, you know, injustice, indeed, like that last part of the soup saying it doesn't clear with iniquity, you know, it doesn't, it's forgiving, but you have to repent, and there's also justice here, the justice doesn't, doesn't go away, um, but I think one of the things that's helpful to me is trying to see myself, well, and, all, and others as someone's child, you know, Every person we meet is someone's child, and they're 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 Hashem's child, and uh, like any good parent, he just wants his kids to fly right, just wants them to fly right, and so the long suffering is the long suffering of someone who really loves, and just wants to see um them fly right. So may we all see each other in our good moments and our not so good moments. May we be like Hashem. May we erech apayim. Long suffering. Uh, and may we not suffer long. And have a good one.